Hey, this is Matt McLean, and welcome to ArtDM 130 at DVC, Intro to Digital Audio. This is an entirely online class that will be administered through DVC's Canvas course management system. So if you go to the DVC main page, you will find the link to Canvas up at the top. Once you dive in there, there will be a login, and um, you can use your login and username that you use to register for the class. Once you dive into Canvas uh, there, it'll take you to a dashboard that should show the classes that you're registered for, and <clears throat> then we'll, we'll dive in here to our DM 130 Once you do that, it'll take you to the home page. And the way I have this class laid out is that the class schedule will always remain up on the home page. So you can actually scroll down here and see all 18 weeks of the course, including the readings, the video links, links to assignments, quizzes, etc. And I will be bumping um, each week up to the top of the page. I'm just going to copy and paste it uh, each week as we move forward so you can see uh, what's on the table uh, for any given week. But the whole thing will always be up there so you can get in and go back and redo readings or you can look into the future and see what we're going to get into. So the way the class is laid out is it's entirely online. There is no required textbook. Everything that you need you can find uh, on this main homepage in Canvas. So there will be uh, four quizzes. Uh, there are going to be seven creative assignments. So you'll find that the class is pretty heavy on the creative side and the editing side. So once we lay the groundwork uh, in terms of some terms regarding digital audio, we're going to get in and start doing things uh, regarding different multimedia uh, projects. So you're going to do things like edit voiceover, create uh, a, a commercial for the radio. You're going to do some sound design, create some music, and then also do some post-production for video. And that'll be the big final project at the end. So a lot of different things. And we're going to work with several uh, pieces of software. The first one is going to be Audacity, which is a free cross-platform uh, piece of software. You don't need to get in there uh, this week, but um, I recommend maybe looking ahead into week two. And there's just a little practice assignment that uses um, Audacity. Uh, and then the other one we're going to use is going to be Reaper. And Reaper is similar to Pro Tools or Logic. And we're going to be using it in the demo modes. So you won't have to pay for it. Uh, there's just a 60-day window that we're going to have to uh, keep keep track of. So don't get in and get Reaper yet, um, unless you want to pay for it. It's not that expensive. I think it's only like 60 bucks. Um, but we'll just be using the free function. It's a full functioning demo, and it it's great. You can do all sorts of audio editing. You can map audio to video, and it's really useful. A lot of people are, are moving towards it because. Uh, programs like Pro Tools are have become so expensive. Um, so that's a, a basic rundown of where we're going to go. Um, and then most of the stuff you can do at home. You can download the software on a Mac or PC and create all these assignments. Uh, there's one assignment that you can use GarageBand to complete, and I'll have a tutorial for GarageBand and Audacity. Uh, and you can come into one of our three labs on campus if you don't if you're a, a Windows user and you don't have um, a, a Mac. So there are also four discussion forums, and the task for the first week is going to be to get in and read the required news lecture item, uh, read a brief overview of the history of audio and the developments that have led to uh, modern digital audio, uh, and then some basic audio fundamentals, how you hear sounds, etc. And then there's a great video um, down here, number eight at the end. We're just going to watch the first nine minutes in the first week. Uh, we'll watch the whole thing by the end of week three. You'll find that homework is due every single Thursday night at 11 p.m. All of the assignments are listed over here, including the quizzes and discussions. So you can see all the due dates there. And these do map over into uh, your uh, calendar function. So if you go back to the home page, <clears throat> I know a lot of people use uh, the Canvas function on their mobile device. And these items should show up there, but you can't, here's the calendar function you can dive in over here, um, but you, they don't necessarily all map over. For example, um, like the, the required news lecture items don't pop up, um, none of the videos pop up in your calendar. It's really just the work that's due at the end. 
So I wouldn't rely on that. It's good to use the calendar function on your mobile device to double check the work, but always go back to the home page and make sure you do all of the readings, watch all the videos. Uh, I'll have tutorials on how to do each of the creative assignments. So there'll be uh, written documents that outline all the guidelines in addition to uh, video tutorials that I, I post uh, links to. They're usually YouTube links. Um, okay, so make sure you get in and read the syllabus in the first week, participate in that discussion forum, and then I recommend coming to the first class meeting. So we do have five um, recommended but not mandatory class meetings. So come to that and I'll go over the material that we cover in the first three weeks of class. I'll give you a walkthrough of the first practice assignment, the required practice assignment that's due at the end of week two, including the extra credit. Um, so that's definitely in your interest to come. And you might want to come with some questions. Definitely uh, check out all these videos. You might even want to look into the second week of class if you finish early. It shouldn't take you too long to wrap this stuff up in the first week. And I hope to see you there. Let me know if you have any questions. One uh, other important function here in Canvas is the um, messaging function. So if you click on your inbox, you will go to all of your receive messages, but you can also compose messages there. And I'm just going to show you how to do that really quick. So you'll see we're at the beginning of the semester. I don't have any new messages. If you want to compose a message, you go to this little feather icon, click on compose new message. You select the course. Here we're in section 5010. Uh, an intro to digital audio, select that. And then if you want to send something to me, you can search for my last name, select my name and first put a subject in there. Of course you don't have to, but hi, uh, I have a question and then type in your message and then you just send it like any email. So I do check my DVC email as well. M McLean at dvc.edu but the preferred method of communication is this inbox uh, function or the messaging fun function here in Canvas. So feel free to shoot me a message. I'm in here at least twice a day. All right, I hope to see you soon and we'll have some fun in this class. You'll get into all sorts of cool editing functions with digital audio and you'll get a chance to be creative as well as hone your technical chops.